Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tech Enthusiast channel and in today's video I'll show you the three easiest ways to customize or even change your Windows Start menu. But before we go to the tutorial, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and you will absolutely made by day by doing so and also like this video to boost YouTube algorithm. So the first utility or the program is basically Rainmeter Skin and this one is called Wally Start and uh, you can get it on github i also put a link down below in video description and uh, this is basically a rain meter skin that will change our start menu so at the bottom left you have an option to deactivate to or activate the skin so if i click right now the windows key you will see how it actually currently looks at the top right you have the clock you have here the even the search bar pinned applications, media control, connections and network. At the bottom, you have some folders, your account, and also the bottom to put your uh, computer to sleep or even to shut down. So if you aren't happy with the look of your current start menu, you will go simply here to the layout and here you have some presets which you can pick. For example, you can even have sidebar and if I click on Windows key once again, as you can see, we have the sidebar enabled. Then if I click the classic wavy um, uh, layout and I'll show you how this one looks. So at the, at the top, you have pinned applications, media controls once again, connections and network. And at the bottom, you even have the mo monitor configuration options. So to be able to, let's say, to project or to extend your display to your secondary monitor. Then if we want to, let's say, uh, enable the option to make it flat, and then if I press Windows key once again, as you can see, the blur is actually enabled. And uh, here you also have the media controls at the top. You have the clock, connections and network, and also how many resources your system is currently using. Um, so I usually prefer Windows 11 um, start menu, but here you also have the modules which you can easily change or even to customize. So you can easily change the module and pick whichever you like from here. Uh, let's say you want weather and then you can simply click the weather and if I click the Windows key once again at the top you will have the weather so you can easily customize this section or even uh, each layout of this uh, rain meter scheme and also you can change the color scheme as well so for example if you want let's say make your taskbar even more transparent you can do so by clicking the transparent color scheme and then clicking the start menu once again and here you have the start menu which is transparent so i forgot to mention but this widget is absolutely free so you can both get them on the event art and also github and i'll put both of the links in video description down below so the second program that is able to customize the windows start menu is called start 11 and is from stardock software company However, this program isn't free because it's seven euros. However, if you are curious enough, you can also try it for 30 days completely for free. So let me show you some of the features this program has to offer. For example, it has start menu customization. Here, basically you have four uh, presets to choose from or four styles. So Windows 7 one, Windows 10 one, Windows 11 one, or Windows modern style. So let's say that I prefer Windows 10 style of the start menu and then if I click start menu at the bottom you should see that this start menu looks a whole lot better compared to the Windows um, 11 start menu then you have the start button so if you want to you can also change the Windows start button image if you want to then we have the taskbar option so compared to the first one uh, first one didn't actually offer to customize taskbar however this one does so here we have taskbar bar buttons should be combined so here we have the always option sometimes and newer um, i don't know but microsoft actually removed these options in windows 11 however this program offers to bring this feature back and use never option so it will look something like that it already looks like windows 
band and i also i think that i prefer this option as well so here we also have the search option so use start 11 search instead of windows search so this is basically the search menu that uh, this program actually offers then we have the control and uh, on the desktop clicking the start menu you can select let's say if you want to open actual windows menu or the start 11 menu then pressing the windows key also has this option and a full screen application uh, also has this option so if you want to if you go to the start menu right here you also have the configure menu option right here and here you can basically add some of the shortcuts if you want to buy shortcut lists you can even customize menu visual appearance so if you want to make a font a little bit bigger or smaller then you can also adjust menu transparency um, change visual effects on the menu if you want to and you also have the taskbar size as well so uh, right now it's set on the medium which windows 11 offers by default and then you have the large one and the small one so if you click the small one and then you will click re restart explorer you should see that the taskbar looks a whole lot smaller and you also have the large uh, option as well and uh, then you also have the taskbar position so if you want to select let's say primary monitor or secondary monitor as well and uh, yeah this is pretty much it for the start 11. so the last program that i'm going to talk about today is called start all back and this program is also quite similar to start 11. here you also have the welcome screen and as same as the start 11 also has some presets so windows 10 uh, windows 7 and then the windows 11 preset and then we can also customize the start menu so even with the presets you can also change the visual style so from default to the windows 8 one to the windows 7 one you can change the icon sizes from small to large to medium icon uh, count and so on then this program also offers the taskbar customization so same as the start 11 also offers to change the windows start menu um, icon so let's say if you want to we can select the windows 7 one and then at the bottom only this program from all of the programs that i mentioned today this one has an option to change the location on the screen so if you want to we can select the taskbar at the top taskbar are the, at the right or taskbar at the left and the centered taskbar also uh, option also works and we can select here to gather with the start button or separately from start button so the icons will be in the middle and the start button will be at the left and then we also have the same feature that start 11 offers as well so combine taskbar buttons so you can select here never and you should see the names of the applications right here as well um, then we also have one one feature that I really like and it's called dynamic transparency so this feature will enable tr the transparency on the taskbar but if you let's say click on the Mozilla Firefox you should see that the transparency goes back to the normal here you can also uh, segment your taskbar by clicking segment um, option right here so you can select up to three segments or just central segment and this will make uh, your taskbar look like a dock if you have it centered uh, in the middle um, so if you want to you can play with the segment as well so i forgot to mention but this program isn't free you have the 100 day trial and um, if you are happy with it you can let's say pay uh, five dollars for one pc or eight nine for two pcs so which one should you pick is basically your personal preference among the three i think that the start all back has a lot more features to offer like the positioning of the taskbar at the right or at the left and then the first program which is completely free which is the rain meter skin called wally start is only basically for the start menu um, and it also offers a lot of the features but uh, if you want let's say to customize taskbar as well then i recommend start all back and uh, with that said i think this is pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already make sure that you smash the like button and uh, boost the youtube algorithm and also if you are new here hit that subscribe button as well and join the tech enthusiast community have a wonderful rest of your 
your day and I'll see you all in the next video.